dear students welcome to institute for humanities as many students want to know what is the pattern of exam and how is the distribution so before starting today's practice on the key concepts i would like that you understand that for cu et pg there will be 100 questions in your paper the duration will be 120 minutes means 2 hours fine and it, as you know this is objective test so there are part a and part b in part a there are 25 questions which will test your language general ability mathematical and other skills a sort of a aptitude test now when you will apply for delhi university this marks will be counted however in case of jnu they don't count this part a marks now the important is the 75 questions which are going to come from your domain knowledge because you are going to do pg in the subject so that is why it is obvious domain knowledge is going to have greater weightage fine as competition is becoming tougher we can't take it for granted if you are looking for a good university now good university is very important because otherwise doing ma doesn't make sense you are doing ma so that you join academics you join some research institution think tank or you are going to go abroad so you will have to do ma from a university that is well recognized means lot many people are eyeing on these seats and obviously there are more number of aspirants appearing many times more and the number of seats available is always going to be less so no scope for com being complacent fine so from time to time we will also be providing you the information about our courses now let us get back to the work and today once again very important topic that is feminism now what is the trend of the questions they ask important personalities they ask important works but it is not so easy to remember the works so how should we remember the work of the scholar means book of the scholar and the name of a scholar so basically if you link it with the core idea some story some concept it is easy to remember fine so now let us start so this is a part of our 23 question analysis series so that you come to know like what is the trend okay now this 2023 question the question is match the list and they have given the name of the feminist scholars and their famous works so any student of political science is expected to know these prominent personalities fine so if i start with who is the first personality here simon de beauvoir and he she is the most important personality in feminism can be considered as the mother of radical feminism and within radical feminism there are three sub branches the liberal radical the existentialist radical and the socialist radical so socialist radicals combine radicalism and marxism liberal radical and existentialist so if i talk about mother of liberal radicalism it is betty friedan and existentialist radical feminism it is simone de beauvoir she has written a very important book 
and that is the second sex and what is her famous statement her famous statement is one is not born woman one becomes woman what does she do here here she applies the existentialism of satra to woman condition and suggest that women should demand their right to existence and should not be living according to the essence that is given to them by society or others and yes i was talking about betty friedan and here the betty friedan is and she is the one who has yeah who is known as the mother of feminism she belongs to us simone de beauvoir belongs to france and uh, betty friedan had conducted a study and uh, she wanted to know that what is the impact of the civil rights on women in usa and surprisingly she found that women were not as happy as it was expected so she coins the term a problem that has no name and this has led to the beginning of patriarchy so what is her famous book feminine mystic so let us see is it there or not yes so betty friedan's work is feminine mystic where she writes about she explores certain myths about the woman she also tells the process by which the myths are created and sustained where she has also emphasized on the role of social media now germain greer she is also a radical feminist and she is uh, in a way very strongly radical feminist and she believes that the sexuality of the woman is defined uh, is uh, limited and uh, women are defined or women are always seen as if they do not have a choice of their own and her famous book is the female eunuch where women are considered to be a eunuch or the female eunuch so women do not have freedom as far as their sexuality is concerned and suzanne moller okin very important feminist scholar why important because she has given the critique of rawls theory of justice from feminist point of view and what is feminist perspective of justice it is based on concept of ethics of care so suzanne moller okin and her famous book gender justice and family so hopefully you have understood what is the right option so let us see the correct answer the correct answer is 4 so simon de beauvoir second sex betty friedan the feminine mystic germain greer the female eunuch and suzanne moller okin the gender justice and family so let's see what else we have let's see what else we have in store for you yes so just a revision about liberal feminism the key concept civil and political rights who is the mother of liberal feminism mary wollstonecraft her book vindication of rights of women in many universities she comes in the syllabus and then betty friedan's book the feminine mystic and carol pateman the sexual contract where she has criticized rawls and she believes that even rawls does not explicitly put women as such as a part of the contract okay now remember mary wollstonecraft why we give the image so that you develop the interest and you remember and this is the vindication of the rights of women 1792 now betty friedan her work and her very work which is now a classic of radical feminism or liberal radical feminism the feminine mystic she is carol pateman the author of the sexual contract where she has criticized that contractualist approach in political theory 
has been masculinist because it nowhere mentions explicitly women perspective or women as a participant in the contract marxist and socialist feminist so socialist feminist are now combination of radical and marxist so these are overlapping term their key idea is simultaneously fighting against capitalism and patriarchy important scholars like iris marian young who has given the concept of differentiated citizenship for women sheila robotham she is also a socialist feminist shule smith firestone she has given the dialectics of sex and kate millet the sexual politics between these two shule smith firestone is more a uh, strongly radical feminist what is the basic difference in shule smith and kate millet is kate millet believes that uh, the reason for subordination of women is gender or social world whereas shule smith firestone she is targeting men more more and she believes that men are by nature bad they are men men are by nature violent and she uh, more pointedly blame men for the subordinate status of women okay and this is shule smith firestone and her masterpiece the dialectics of sex and kate millet the masterpiece sexual politics so i believe that these videos are helping you and building you the basic concepts vocabulary and are introducing you to the subjects and uh, as far as political science is concerned the interest of students is increasing a lot and many students from non political science background they also appear for these tests cuet tests they also go for the pg in the subject and these lectures are going to provide them a very good pace thank you